Hello folks and welcome to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's try the Raven Legacy of a Master Thief. The Raven is a point and click crime adventure game where you can actually take control of both this constable that you're looking at now and later on you will also take control of the Raven, the Master, the master Thief that has been eluding the, uh, the police officers for some time. The basic story to this game is that there was a master thief named the Raven going around robbing all these precious gems. You know, you've heard the story a million times. The big thing is the Raven always managed to get away unscathed. He also never hurt anyone. Well, this inspector supposedly killed the Raven, but now there's someone else doing crime similar to what the other Raven was, leaving, at, leaving behind the same tips. But this Raven is a little bit more violent. So we're left to wonder, is this the real Raven or is this an imposter? To start with, you actually play as a constable here who is trying to basically impress this inspector, uh, the this inspector who originally caught or actually shot the Raven. And uh, we'll, we will be playing him for this entire episode, actually. And this is going to be a little different for a let's try. I'll get to the gameplay in just a second. But I wanted to say this, this is a little different for a let's try. Normally I just play the game for an hour or two and then start playing the game and talking about it, talking about my experiences as I go through it. This is going to be a bit different. I've actually beaten this chapter and I'll explain the chapters in a bit as well. But I beat this chapter, I wanted to get a more full experience because I didn't know how long the game was. I also wasn't sure if you played as the Raven in this chapter. Uh, which you actually don't. So, very quickly, there's going to be three chapters for the Raven Legacy of a Master Thief. It's going to be epi it's episodic, just like uh, Walking Dead was. There's uh, the three chapters. When you purchase the game, which right now is $24.99 retail, you can buy it on Steam, Green Man Gaming. You can also get it DRM free from the Nordic Shop. You get access to all three of those chapters. However, the chapter one, it is only available right now at the time of recording. Chapter 2 will be available August 27th. Chapter 3 will be available uh, September 24th. So let's play the game. Uh, obviously, again, since I've already beat the game, I know what I need to do. And I'm not going to play a lot because I don't want uh, spoilers. Puzzles are big on, you know, getting things spoiled, figure it out for yourself. So what we want to do is we see this little box here. When you hover over an icon, or if you when you hover over a usable item, your icon will change. Uh, it'll change like a wrench if you can do something with it. It'll turn into a hand if you can pick it up, or just a magnifying glass if you can look at it. So you just go ahead and click it. A box with a padlock. I suppose it contains tools for the train's crew, maybe for coupling and uncoupling the cars. At any rate, it's positioned so that it's easier to reach from the ground than from up here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this toolbox. It has a very Agatha Christie feel. In fact, we're on the Orient Locked. Express. Push that kid off the side. Matt, have you gone mad? I'll shoot. Hey, my pistol. You'll get it back in Venice. I could have fallen under the wheels. I thought you were a ghost. Ghosts don't exist. They do too, once you flew past the window. Yes, yes, sure. Now get moving. Oh, man. Seeing ghosts in broad daylight, that's never good. Let's try the box again. The box is secured with a padlock. I won't be able to open it without a key. All right, well, let's go ahead and go in here. So we need a key to open the padlocked box. We've already talked to him. So let's just walk down here. Sometimes the animations can be a little bit uh, wonky. Most of the time it's fine, though. Oh, and as we walk in, it automatically oh, kicks up this cutscene. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, my son didn't make any trouble for you, I hope. It's just that he just walked past us, silent and seething. That's usually a sign that someone's laid down the law. I'm afraid so. He played a trick on me, a rather dangerous one. The lad left me no choice but to take away his wooden pistol as a punishment. I understand. And thank you. Maddie is a very lively child. Sometimes he needs a strong fatherly hand. Where is Matt's father, if I may ask? He's... He's gone. Ah, I understand. Could you, uh, leave Maddie's pistol here, perhaps? 
So you don't have to bother with it? Of course. I told him he wouldn't get it back until Venice. Very well. Thank you again, Constable. Okay. Let's go ahead and go back to the train. Let's see if we can find Maddie and talk to him. A little turd. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. I just misclicked. Sometimes you just walk to the edge and it'll take you. Sometimes there's an actual icon to go to a different screen. And this is set in the 1960s. So there is talk, of course, of uh, World War II. That guy is locked outside of his room. And let's go ahead and talk to Matt. The little bastard. Almost maybe fall off the train. Hello, Matt. Oh, come on. Are you going to be angry with me for the rest of the trip? Until I get my pistol back. I gave it to your mother. Oh, man. Couldn't you have just raked me over the coals? I can Would still you have do that. anything from that? I didn't learn anything from this either. Oh, he's being snotty. Let's try to talk to him again. Come on, Matt. Did you really think that you can ignore me for longer than I can ignore you? I'm Swiss. It's practically a national sport. That's racist. Sometimes you have to click on an item or a person or whatever multiple times to learn everything about that about that item. It's pretty easy to tell because once you can no longer interact with the person, or usually when you can no longer interact, you will no longer get the icon when you hover over them. So it's a good indicator that, okay, I can stop clicking on that now. Matt is digging in his heels. I won't get anything out of him as long as he's angry with me. Okay. Now you can hear the little scribble. You do have a notebook. And the notebook keeps up with what's going on. Uh, it also has lists of uh, the different NPCs that you are speaking with, the different characters. Uh, and it will update as you learn new things about the characters or as new things happen. You also have secrets, which is basically your quest, like what you are trying to do now. And it gives you hints as to what's next. Normally, uh, there's not he anything here right now, but normally there will be a hint button that you can press. And it will give you a new line of text, which will, you know, point you in the right direction if you get caught or if you get stuck. There's also a hourglass up here, which you can press, and it will show you everything in the room that you can click on. I'll do it again just so you can, like, watch him. You'll see the little hourglass pop up. And on the little kid. But this also takes adventure points. You have plenty of adventure points. I can't possibly imagine running out of these because even clicking the hourglass only takes 10. So you could do that 92 times. Uh, and you get more points, I think, as you go. However, your score at the end of the game will change if based on how many uh, adventure points you have. And I believe you get better achievements if you don't use a, uh, if you use the hint system and the magnifying system less often. So. He's pissy at me, so let's look. Here's our inventory. We can right-click items in I our inventory. I won't need any just now. It would be rather embarrassing if I met Legrand and wasn't able to open my mouth because it's been stuck shut or because I lost some teeth. Okay, these are some butterscotch, which butterscotches are awesome. So let's go left-click and we'll try giving it because what kid doesn't look candy? Would you like a butterscotch? You think you can bribe me? Yes. I have no reason to. You made trouble and got punished for it. Take it as a peace offering. Just four? If I'm faster than you, there'll only be three. Hey, hey! Friends again? Mm-hmm. All right, then. And no dangerous nonsense anymore. Okay. Now, you can talk to him about uh, various things here. Uh, I'm just going to kind of speed yeah. through these because you do have to talk to him to finish another puzzle. Uh, let's see. I forget which Jamie, one. Have you seen the steward anywhere? Hopefully. <laughs> What's he supposed to do? I'm looking for a key to open a... Did you check his thing? I'm sure. Can't you break it open or pick the lock like the raven? Perhaps. This is valid, so but I'd need a piece of wire or something like that. Ask my mom. She has a lot of hairpins. She doesn't like the wind messing up her hair. Mm. Thanks for the tip. Okay, we're going to so say goodbye so to longer. this little bastard who almost got us killed. So what's special about this point-and-click adventure game? What makes this different than the 
slew of other games. Well, let me say a slew of other adventure games. What makes this different? It does the. It definitely doesn't have the comedic angle. It doesn't go for that. Uh, it's it's more of the appealing to kind of the crime solving mystery. You're trying to figure out what's going on. Who's the Raven? Who's on your side? Who's working with the Raven? So uh, once you get past these initial stages, it actually the story does actually start to get pretty interesting. Trying to figure out, okay, well, what's what's going on? Because you start to think, well, maybe I've got this figured out, and then things start to unravel. It's like, well, okay, now I'm not sure anymore. So and it, if you like that angle, if you like the old again, like Agatha Christie type, even though I've never read anything about Agatha Christie, to be fair, if you like that type of crime solving story. You should definitely uh, take a look at this. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Oh, I guess I did click on her. Oh, nope, I clicked delete. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain waiting for him to do the animations, but let's talk to Miss Miller, which is his mother. We'll get a hairpin. Mrs. Miller? And I'm also letting him talk because yes? I want you to do the voice acting thing. Uh, please excuse my unusual request, but Matt said you have some hairpins. Could I borrow one? One of my hairpins? It's a long story. It would be a big help. Well, if you really need one. Go ahead, Mary. The constable won't do it any harm. Will you, Mr. Zelda? Of course not, madam. Is this one okay? It'll do nicely, madam. I'll very kind of you. There are some strange Goodbye, graphical Zelda. issues. Goodbye. Sometimes, for example, Miss Miller, especially later on in the game, her mouth opens really widely when she talks. It's a little weird, but it's not definitely not a deal breaker. It's just little st strange nuances. Okay, so now we have the hairpin. So here's the drawer that we need to get into. Let's use the hairpin on the lock. And suddenly, it's me who's the thief on the train. So far, I actually like the voice acting. I think it's well done. That was easier than expected. I don't know why I said whoops, but open the drawer up. Batteries, a toothbrush, shaving brush, but not the key to the compartment door. Just this one. Hmm. Too small for the door, but it might still be useful. Okay. And this will probably be the last thing that we'll do, because again, I don't want to give away, you know, spoilers, because... That's kind of what adventure games are for, figuring out the puzzles. The puzzle difficulty so far has definitely not been very difficult. Uh, it's, for the most part, I know what to do at any given time. Sometimes I do have to kind of think a bit. Uh, and there has been, I think, once or twice that I did use the the hints book to point me in the right direction. Let's see if it's still there. Let's see if it's there now so you can take a look. No, nope, it's not there. But I, I haven't really needed to to this point. And there's not many mini games as some puzzles have. Uh, the they, ones that were here did not show up until pretty much the end of this chapter. So let's go ahead and go outside. And let's see if we can open this with the new key that we found. Even though this seems incredibly dangerous, what he's doing. I think I would at least be holding off for that. That's it. There we go. This should help. And what did we find? Uh, we found pliers. Oh, that'll be super handy. So again, that's a little short uh, on the list try. So far, I'm enjoying this. My only complaint is maybe the price. Uh, that might drive some folks off. It is $24.99 uh, retail, and there's three chapters. But in their defense, this one took me about... This episode probably took me about five hours, four to five. Uh, people who don't click on every single thing and try to find every single little tidbit could do it faster for sure but i think i was around five hours so if each chapter was five hours it'd be 15 bucks so for 25 dollars, it might be for some folks who really aren't into puzzle games and especially aren't into this type of this puzzle game where it's again it's less on the comedy such as grim fandango and um Secret of Monkey Island, where the writing was really, really good. We kind of made up for... Well, those are pretty long games, too. So, you kind of had to be into the whole crime-solving mystery angle. Again, the writing so far has been pretty interesting. The story is starting to pick up 
and I actually am interested to find out what is going on, find out who done it. So definitely check this out if you are interested. Again, the second chapter should be available August 27th, and the third chapter should be available September 24th. So if you want to wait until all three chapters are available, you might want to do that. So I will have links to purchase the game below. And again, remember, if DRM is an issue for you, you can buy it DRM free from the Nordic shop. And I will definitely put a link to that in the comments below. So as always, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see further previews, reviews, and let's plays. Like my videos if you like them. And I will see you next time.